I first saw her near the onions. She was sniffing them, which as far as I know isn't a thing. I know you squeeze figs and you weigh limes and you thump watermelons and you assess a cherry's ripeness based on its shine and color, but onions just sort of are, right? I remember I read this article once, 13 things you didn't know about onions. I've been Googling, rabbit holing, really, and it showed up in my search results. Intrigued, I clicked it open. Thing five stayed with me. Americans eat on average 20 pounds of onions per person per year. Did you know that? 20 pounds. I remember Googling, I always with the Googling, things that weigh 20 pounds, and my search yielded the following equivalents. One and one-third bowling balls, or two cans of paint, or three bricks, or a dash hound. Or dachshund. Dash. I eat a small dog's weight in onions every year. Ugh. Anyway, she was sniffing the onions in the onion aisle. Onion roundabout. Onion cul-de-sac? And I was immediately smitten. She was masked, but elegant. Her hair was pulled up in a kind of ponytail, exposing tiny little ears lined from the lobe to the helix with silver hoops and studs. <laughs> she wore heels, high, high heels, out of place and yet unassuming. On her, they looked almost sensible, like a pair of ballet flats or keds. <laughs> they clicked on the floor as she walked past the lettuce, past the squash, past the peaches. She was made up like in a way that felt organic, put together but not off-putting, you know? Like a Disney princess. Like she just woke up that way, fully beat and perfectly quaffed, her clothes wrinkle-free even though she slept in them the night before. At the Apple Bin, we both struggled to open up our plastic bags with plastic gloves on, but she seemed unfazed almost peaceful. At the prepared foods counter, she ordered salmon, so I ordered salmon too. <laughs> and while we were waiting, she looks to me and she says, great minds, which took me by surprise. Sorry, I said. And then she pointed with an impeccably painted nail to the bag of cherries in my cart. Glossy, wine red, perfect. <laughs> and then she gestured to her own. A matching bag. Ah! Great minds indeed, I said, overjoyed at our obvious compatibility. And then she smiled. And I could tell because her mask shifted and then her eyes crinkled at the corners. I smiled back. I wondered what her lips looked like. Full and sweet. Juicy. Salmon. The guy at the prepared foods counter was holding out the wrapped filet. She took it and said, thank you. And then she turned to me and said, have a nice day. You too, I said. And then I said, excuse me, a little too loud, a little too everything. And she turned back, yes. I pushed forward. I noticed you back there um, sniffing onions. <laughs> Is that a thing? Like, I know that you squeeze figs and you weigh limes and you thump watermelons and you assess a cherry's ripeness based on its shine and color, but, and I pause for emphasis, do you sniff onions? And she paused, contemplating my question, and then her mask shifted again. <laughs> well, I do, she said. And then she turned away, her heels clicking on the floor as she left. Click.